Hey guys, welcome back. So today is the 1st of December. We're in the last stretch of the year. And for this month, I'm going to change things a little bit. Uh, I am actually going to do this month on the old WW core plan from the late 90s. I had good success on that before, and I'm going to revisit that this month just because doing calories on their own frees you up to pretty much fit anything that will fit within your, your calorie target. And that's fine, but I did find when I was looking back over the month that I had got a bit loosey-goosey on... Um, some things, how I was dividing things up. And core is a great way to really focus on more whole food. So I'm just going to, to track under that plan for the month. If you're not familiar with it, basically it has an enormous zero list of things that you do not need to track. I am still going to um, just so that I can track the calories as well. But you don't get any daily points. You just have this big food list and then I have 35 weekly points and I can use activity points that I have earned on the day. So activity points are with that plan. They were use them or lose them kind of thing. So, okay. So when I'm going to do brunch and I'm going to do, a couple of duck eggs. These are from my local farmer and she did, I talked to her earlier this week and she said her ducks are about finished laying for the year. And so we're going to try and put together one more 18 pack and then uh, I will not have duck eggs again until the spring. So I have a couple of those. And these, so when I talk about points for this particular month, I'm talking about on the core plan. So eggs are zero. Couscous is zero in either normal or whole grain. So I have some couscous that I had cooked earlier. Almost all of your fruits and vegetables are, including avocados and olives. So I'm going to have some steamed asparagus. That will be zero. I'm going to have some avocado. That will be zero. And the only thing that's going to be pointed for me in this meal is some hummus. I'm going to have three tablespoons of hummus, and that is going to be three points. So breakfast will be three points on the core plan. All right, welcome back for dinner. So for dinner, I am going to have a, I have a bone-in pork chop and center cut chops, once they're trimmed, are uh, zero. So I'm going to cook that in the air fryer and then when that's done, I'll take out, you know, this little piece here and take out the bone. I have some green beans. I'm going to steam those and have them with some of the Simple Truth Organic Steak Sauce. I'm actually going to have just some Dijon mustard on the pork. And then these are sweet potatoes and a Japanese sweet potato, which is the light colored pieces that you see in there. I made these in the Instant Pot a few days ago and just took them out and mashed them up. So I'm going to have some of that. And that's everything. That will be dinner. Hey guys, so I'm going to wrap it up here for tonight, but I wanted to share something with you before I go. So uh, there is a possibility that part of the problem that I've been having for a long time is actually Graves' disease. Now, I have a whole bunch of other autoimmune stuff, and I have had my thyroid tested um 
many, many, many times, and everything has always come back in range. But I started having trouble, and if you've been with me a while, you may have, you may, I don't talk about it terribly often, but I started having trouble with one of my eyes. If I get too much pressure buildup behind my eye, then it actually will bulge out of its socket. And when it first started happening, I woke up one day, opened my eyes, and my eye popped out. <laughs> um, for a long time, it was only one eye. And then a couple of years ago, it started happening in the other eye. And then about six months ago, I started noticing some other things, like my vision has changed substantially well, let's say more in six months than has changed in the 20 years preceding that. Like, it's a very definite difference. I struggle to read labels on cans with the glasses that I've, the same sort of prescription that I've had for a long time. And there's some other things um, in terms of like the the tremors and the muscle weakness and the fatigue and a lot of things that even the heart issues, the heart rate issues, they can all in certain ways be tied to graves. And so, okay. And then there are things that I don't present with that's classic of graves. And I started doing some research into whether you can have a normal thyroid test and still have graves. And it turns out that there's actually a decent amount of the population that that is the case. Okay, so here's the deal. I bought this test. This is from a company called Let's Get Checked. And they do, what I ordered was not only a thyroid test, but it has a thyroid antigen and a thyroid antibody test that they run as well. And those are things that have not been run through my normal doctor's tests, which have run like a four-part thyroid panel. So you have to take this, you take it in the morning, you draw a blood sample, and you have to send it out the same day. And then they send a, uh, there's like a next day air thing, and you, you put it in the biohazard bag. So basically they send you lancets and wipes and a little, um, specimen container and this this little thing I don't know if you can hear it it vibrates and so they say if you're having difficulty getting enough blood you can put that on your finger and you let it run for like two minutes with your hand down so that you can stimulate blood flow and since I have um, bad hands anyway that might be helpful but Results are back in two to five days. Tomorrow's Friday, so I don't expect to see anything until like mid next week. But these results will hopefully give me something else to go to my doctor with. And maybe we can see if the problems that I've been having, which have changed over the last four to six months, maybe this is part of it. Maybe there is a thyroid issue after all. So I'm going to do this in the morning and then I'll go into town and because you have to go to UPS. So I'll go take it to them. But uh, stay tuned. I mean, I guess if it came back and said everything was fine, then I'm no worse off than I am now. But it'd be really nice if there was some kind of little mystery answer in there. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 